it's my job now. This is everybody else's job. So, you know, you got to figure it out, uh, you know, and be ready to go. DeJounte is in business mode, saying it's up to him to be ready to restart the season in big board sports. The restart of the NBA season is big for Spurs guard DeJounte Murray. At, le at least eight more games for him to show that he is the guy after taking over for Tony Parker in his second season. Murray's third was a lost after a devastating knee injury in the preseason. Now he struggled a bit here and there to start this season. Now he's slowly getting back into form. Then COVID-19 shut things down in March. Now after a four month hiatus, a 23 year old has to stage another comeback. Obviously it's tough coming off an injury. And then this season came cut short back when he's finally like in his legs underneath him. So, um, I mean, it's definitely tough for him. And I mean, I feel like these games are going to be big for everybody. Just a chance to continue to play, continue to learn um, and try to get better each and every time out. So I know he's going to be excited to play. Um, he's going to compete like he always does. Spurs were off yesterday, so some of them decided to take in one of the recreational activities approved by NBA and Bubble Life, a trip on a party boat on Crescent Lake right next to the Spurs team hotel. Under Bubble Life, outside socializing is allowed. The athletic director of the Shirt Cibolo Universal City Independent School District, Scott Linhoff, announcing on Monday that summer strength and conditioning courses are back on, meaning both Clemens and Steele could return to workouts. We caught up with the Buffaloes Tuesday as they are hoping there will be no more delays due to the virus between now and when they are slated to kick off their 2020 football season August 28th, especially after they went undefeated in the district last season, including a 34-20 victory versus Judson. All I can do is come out here every day. Same with my teammates. We come out, we work, uh, just like we're getting ready for a season. Um, I hope we have a season. I pray we have a season, but it's not up to me at the end of the day. So whatever they do, um, it's up to the UIL and whoever else is above us, but um, it's out of my control. If they feel like it's going to be safe enough to, for us to be able to, to compete at, at, a, at a high level, uh, then we'll do that. If not, then we'll, you know, we'll make some adjustments, and, and unfortunately, but we just got to be blessed and, and, and really just go day by day. Keep in mind, it's not just football players on the field working out over to Alamo Heights. All student athletes are hoping their seasons are played in these uncertain times, and all varsity athletes have dreams of winning titles ranging from district to state. It makes me feel kind of kind of worried and a little sad right now because it's my senior year and I was looking, I was really looking forward to being on the team, being a team captain, being able to lead all my teammates this year and um, the past couple years we've made it to state every year and so I was really looking forward to going to state hopefully again. And we want them to go back to state. That's it yeah. for sports guys. Yeah, hopefully they can uh, see some action this fall. Bubble life so. and real life. I like I like how they call it bubble <laughs> life. Bubble for, life for doesn't sound too bad. Flamingos and french fries. It all adds up to Wild Wednesday on SA Live, right, Mike and Fiona? Oh, yes, indeed, <laughs> and it is snack time heaven today. Yes, in a segment every pet owner needs to see, it's all straight ahead on SA Live. Pretzels, popcorn, and homemade ice cream, a local sweet shop keeps running out of a one-of-a-kind flavor, but of course, Jen Tobias Trusky was lucky enough to get a taste before it was all gone, and she finds out what they have that you can't find anywhere in the city. It's a wild Wednesday. SeaWorld is back open for the summer. We were greeting, we were greeted by some friendly flamingos and I learned something about them that I'd never heard before. Apparently you are what you eat. Hmm. Well, it's also I Love Horses Day. We saddle up and taking the gorgeous beauty of South Texas where you can find this summer adventure and social distance all in one. It's Christmas in July. You can cross a lot of people off your Christmas list today because we have a gift that everyone's going to want. Does that include Hallmark movies? And pet owners, listen up. There are a lot of things in your home that could be a fire hazard. Some are obvious and some not. What you need to know about your curious cats and clumsy pups, it's a pet fire safety alert. And stop what you're doing and look at this. We are celebrating French fries with an overload of loaded french fries. Get ready to indulge in the best way possible. You're going to have to find out where you can get these incredible creations. And we want to know who in town makes the best french fries. Oh, here we go. And pictures a little bit later on in social media and you might see it on TV. SA Live is just minutes away.
and the next time you go swimming in the Gulf, you may want to check oh. out your surroundings. The world's largest fish, whale sharks, were spotted as close as 100 miles off the coast of Texas. Texas Parks and Wildlife tweeted the photo out yesterday. This was actually back in October of 2012 near the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. Of course, while it's not likely you'll be swimming 100 miles off the coast, it is still important to watch for sharks in your surroundings. Pay attention out there. Always. I don't know how you missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good advice. Uh, today, 101, mostly sunny, won't be near the record. And then upper 90s tomorrow, some very, very slight rain chances Friday and Saturday. Otherwise, we are stuck in a very summer-like pattern here. Upper 90s through much of next week with humid conditions returning too, guys. All right, we'll try to keep cool. Thanks, Justin. So apparently yesterday was just the fry appetizer because they had like some fries in a styrofoam dish, you know, and it was just like regular That looked fries. good. And, and the today fries it's today. like, whoa. Big time fry. French fry, French fry fan here. Can't wait Definitely. to see them all. They will be eating them up right now on SA Live because it starts right now. Uh, have you ever tried avocado ice cream? Why mm. people are falling in love with the family owned sweet chop and what they make that you can't find anywhere else in the Alamo City. Plus, hey, if fire breaks out, who's grabbing the pets? We've got some important tips to make sure you and your four-legged family members are ready for an emergency. And flamingos are so well known because, well, people love to put those flamingos out for their lawn decorations, <laughs> right? But we're, especially in Florida, but we're learning some surprising <laughs> facts about these pretty pink birds. That's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Hello and happy Wednesday, everybody. Well, you wouldn't think you could make french fries any, oh, an egg on there? Wow, any better, but restaurants across our city are doing the impossible with their loaded french fries. Wow, that looks good. Oh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. I look at how creative people get. I know. In a great way. All right, mm. so before we go any further, we have a big birthday to announce. Somebody is now officially an adult. <laughs> Jack Parker, my oldest, there he was. This was about 10 years ago. And that was one of the first fish he ever caught there. And yeah, he's turning 18. 18? Today. He is 18 years old. I remember the day I he was born like it was 18. yesterday. I know. And he was just a little shaver there and now Oh, I look at him he is representing six, in that shirt close and everything. To six foot three and yeah, it's like I'm like, okay, now you behave, <laughs> so young tall. man. You know, I'm looking at him like that. So oh. happy birthday, Jack Parker. Happy birthday. I love you. <laughs> yes. Well, we didn't want to miss that birthday because earlier this week this week we missed another important day. Monday was National French Fry Day. Ooh. And since we missed it, we're gonna go big with showing you some places selling the best loaded French fries in the city. But, but right now, we want to know. Yeah, who makes the best french fries? I mean, that's a, Wait, it's what? almost along the lines of who makes the best right. breakfast tacos. But Okay, um, you've got some. So Hill Cafe, okay. uh, right there on Blanco, because they've got great little pizzas and everything, and they've got french fries that are done in a truffle oil with some uh, sea salt on them. Really, oh. really good, nice and great. I mean, the standby, that's the, you know, kind of the good kind. Uh -huh. Fast food, McDonald's. You like McDonald's fries? Got to go, with, you know, a good batch of McDonald's fries. But So Hill Cafe like that. So, yeah, really tasty. What about you? Um, shoestring fries, sweet potato fries, really anywhere. <laughs> that, that, that makes me happy. I, I'm easy to please in that way. <laughs> sweet potato fries, yes, indeed. <laughs> yep. Hey, share your comments and pictures on social media. Tag us at SA Live KSAT, and you might see your answers a little bit later on in the show. But right now we are kicking off snack time. A little salty, a mm -hmm. little sweet. It's mm -hmm. all about supporting local businesses. One family is bringing a taste of Philly to the Hill Country with a new dessert shop. Our Jen Tobias Strusky went to check it out. Salty and sweet, no matter what you like, you can find it here. I call this place the happy place. We're taking you inside this family-owned business to get a taste of all their goodies. Let's go inside. So 
um, this is a family-owned business. It's my husband and myself and my three da teenage daughters. Our salty and sweet came from um, our popcorn, which is salty. We make our own popcorn. We uh, also make homemade soft pretzels. Our sweet is our ice cream and our candy. As you can see, we have lots and lots of candy. Okay, who remembers this thing? Simon? That's a yeah. fun. And I make all kinds of ice cream from vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and then I make my signature avocado, which is actually my number one seller. I can't keep it on the shelf. Okay, so here is the avocado ice cream that they say is one of the best sellers. Here, so let me give it a try. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, very fresh. You can definitely tell the difference in the homemade ice cream. <laughs> very good. I can't wait to try the cone, look at that cone. It's a pretzel. So why pretzels? Patrick Cleary and his family are bringing a taste of Philadelphia to San Antonio. Oh, it's a Philadelphia recipe. So they're different than and the Annie Anne's or any other uh, Dutch pretzel. So yeah, yes. it's a Philadelphia recipe. You did it. Yes, and I missed the I missed the food of Philadelphia, and uh, I went back to Philadelphia to a bakery and learned the recipe and how to do it. So I worked with them for a few weeks. Soon they will take over their neighbor's restaurant, Soda Pops. It recently closed and was known by many foodies for the All American Eats. And yes, we stopped by a few years back. We are going to do a family restaurant that is going to be uh, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, Philly cheesesteaks. Um, we're going to take over our uh, soft pretzels because that's our signature for Philly. And as the business continues to grow, so does the strength of the family. I love it so much I want to take this over when I get older and run my own business. Patience. And to treat people with kindness. Oh yeah, treat people with kindness. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> This is what our dream was to have the candy store and have the kids involved and, and uh, they can take it over when we retire. He does his pretzels, I do my ice cream and restocking candy, so we make dough. And they're keeping social distancing in mind. Everyone in here is required to wear a mask. You can also get movie buckets to go full of treats and they cater any special event. We also do um, alcohol infused. Sorbets, like a sangria, white wine, red wine. When you come in here, you'll find candy that's hard to come by. Oh, they come in, they absolutely love it. They say your store is so cute. Um, we love your popcorn, we love your avocado ice cream, we love your nostalgic candies, things that brings us back to our childhood. You can also get milkshakes, ice cream sandwiches made with homemade cookies, and the root beer floats are the best part. So our root beer flavors, for the root beer floats, we try to, Myself and Tina uh, researched the different root beers. We try to get them from around the different root beers around the country. So you can make your choice and top it off. So if you're looking to support local and get something sweet or salty. I get these pretzels every day, as you can see. <laughs> we didn't know anyone from Pennsylvania when we moved here. But since we have the store and started doing soft pretzels, we met so many people, military, retired, that are from the area. So it's, just, it's fun. So retired, uh, retired Eagle came in and bought some pretzels. So. Yeah, Philadelphia Eagle, so it was fun. Everything's made with love. We definitely felt the love here, and they promised my daughter Julia a job when she turned 16. We'll take it. Here's to supporting local. It's definitely brought us closer together. For SA Live. It made our family really strong, which is nice. I love it. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. The pretzel cone looks right, great. Right, that pretzel cone. Yes. And they do love our Max Massey, who went to Penn State and is also from Philly, yep. right? So they asked us to extend an invitation to him to go try those Philly pretzels. Max, if you're watching, don't worry, we'll text you in a little bit anyway and let you know. <laughs> he goes, can we go with him? I want to try that pretzel ice cream cone. So, all right, they say you are what you eat, and for one animal at SeaWorld, that turns out to be very literally true. <laughs> the park is back open and we were there and learned some really good, cool things about flamingos. That pink color they're actually known for comes from their favorite thing to eat. Hmm.
at SeaWorld on this beautiful day, and I've got some pink flamingos behind me. And joining me right now is Angie Giannis, animal care specialist, to tell us all about the flamingo and some things I didn't know. <laughs> Hi. Well, thank you, Fiona. It is so great to have you here. Enjoy this wonderful day at SeaWorld. And like you said, we have some beautiful flamingos behind us. We have over 40 different, or 40 flamingos in this exhibit right now. And you talked about their beautiful pink color. Well, they are not hatched that way. Right. Um, that pink color comes from the food they eat. It comes from the carotenoids. Um, same thing that makes a carrot orange. Um, but then that's found in the algae, the mollusks, and the small organisms that they eat for feed. In the water. So for them, it really is you are what you eat. You are what you eat. <laughs> At least you look like yes. a dirt. And you know that beautiful pink plumage, um, they think it might help them out in breeding season, which is what we are approaching right now. So if you look behind, you might see those dirt mounds that are up there. Um, so they build nests out of dirt. Um, and those, those nests can be pretty high, pretty wide, and they will make a little divot in the middle, and that is where they will go. Okay, and as you mentioned, they kind of get get that pink coloration. So the ones that are pink are the young It's not ones, because right? they haven't eaten as much. It is because they are young. So it takes uh, a little while for them to get that full, beautiful, bright, vibrant pink color. So the younger ones you see are the ones that are the lighter in color. Yeah. You notice when they're eating, they're eating with their heads upside down. So if you want to toss them a little food, you can see that happen. They actually put their heads upside down. They're shelter feeders. But their head is upside down while they're eating. Yeah. Okay. Now, as they're walking around, okay, uh, and you can see their little legs moving, you see them bending, uh, are those their knees? You know, that's a fascinating uh, fact about flamingos and something that most people don't realize is that what you're actually seeing are their ankles. Um, so that, where they have that pink um, kind of circle around, those are their ankles. And you'll often see the flamingos resting on one leg. They have the other one moving out of the and that's how they, they rest one leg and then the other. So their legs are positioned kind of center under their body. Now, when people think of flamingos, they always think, okay, they're always standing on one leg. <laughs> You know, that's just the easiest way to rest. Um, these birds will spend a lot of their day uh, cleaning and just waiting in the water, uh, filter feeding around. And so when they want to rest, they just put one leg up and then eventually they'll switch and put the other leg up. So it's very neat. They um, they will both males and females help build the nest and help raise the chicks once they come. Really? The yes. males help? Yes. They actually can both feed them milk. And it's a crop milk that, that the males and females can feed. All right, so if folks want to come out here to SeaWorld, check out the flamingos, all the other animals, and all the rides, what do they need to know? That's right, Fiona, come on out. We are open. Go online to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. Make your reservations in advance online. And come on out and see us. We've got all of our rides. We've got, you know, the brand new Texas Stingray there, um, as well as all of our wonderful shows. And, of course, our beautiful flamingos and the rest of the animals here. So we can't wait to see you. Come on out with your families. All right. For more information, of course, on SeaWorld. World San Antonio, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Oh, their ankles, not their knees. I'll be darned. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, it is Christmas in July. Yay! You can not You can cross a lot of people off your Christmas list today because we have a gift that everyone's going to want. But first, it's something everyone should do once. Experience the beauty of Texas from horseback. And you can saddle up for a summer adventure. We'll talk about that next on SA Live. If you're feeling like a pizza, they got you covered, sorta. Their pizza fries use fresh cut fries and freshly melted mozzarella cheese, sliced pepperoni, and a side of marinara. Yo, you got all the marinara, you got all that pepperoni, the mozzarella, the fries. It doesn't get any better than this, man. Oh, oh look at that. That's exactly what you think it tastes like. Delicious and pizza. It is fantastic. And welcome back to SA Live. Hey, are you looking for a social distancing summer adventure? A couple of months ago, we went out to Uvalde County to escape the city and, of course, have some fun. Yes, and one of our stops was at Elm Creek Stables, where we took in the beauty of Texas from horseback. Right now, they are closed due to COVID-19, but we thought you might enjoy it, and that might inspire you with some summer fun ideas. We're here in 
Uvalde County, Concan, beautiful Texas Hill Country at Elm Creek Stables. They've got some great trail rides and beautiful scenery. I've heard some horses with personality too. We're gonna go check it out. And joining me is owner George Strive. This is incredibly beautiful property. How long have y'all been here? We've been on this place 25 years. 25 years, and how big of an area is it? It's about 200 acres. How many trails? We have two or three trails, but uh -huh. we generally just use our short trail, uh -huh. then occasionally we use the longer trail. So you offer trail rides. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we offer trail rides starting about spring break in March, and then we'll operate on weekends until Memorial Day, and then after Memorial Day, we're seven days a week to Labor Day. And do they operate all day long, or they're morning, evening, or they're? They're all day long. The uh, Sometimes the temperatures get pretty hot in the afternoon, so it slows down a little bit. But our mornings are generally fairly busy. Now, folks come here uh, for the trail rides, but you have a lot of repeat customers. Tell me, tell me why. Well, I hope they enjoy it. We generally have about 80% of our clientele is repeat customers, families. So how many horses uh, do you have available for trail rides? Trail ride, we generally stick with a, no more than nine or 10 people. Nine or 10 people in groups. Mm -hmm. And I generally have two people. And I see that they, they, they kind of all have personalities. Oh, they all have personalities. <laughs> so if folks want to come out, do a trail ride, What's it going to cost? Thirty dollars for the, the what we call the lower trail, okay. and it's forty-five for the higher trail. Okay, and this length of time. The length as well? of time. It's it's about an hour on the high trail, uh -huh. and where the lower trail we can ride it in about forty-five minutes. Now, when folks come out for trail rides, uh, they give back to a great cause, right? Yeah, uh, Beverly has a little horse rescue, and all, all the proceeds from this go into that horse rescue. And she, we, we operate with about 10 horses, but she's feeding about 30 horses. And so it takes everything we can muster up to take care of. And going on the trail rides, I mean, it is just beautiful scenery with all the hills. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Good place to live. Oh, that looks so nice. Right? It was. And we have a link to Elm Creek Stables on our website so you can find out when they're going to be back open so you can book an adventure. Just check out the As Seen on, uh, as seen on tab on SALive.com. All right, still ahead on SA Live, they're doing the impossible, making french fries even better. Local food truck going way over the top with their loaded fries. And next, Christmas. Hey, it's come early. We have a Yay. great gift, and you, you can get right now for pretty much anyone on your Christmas list. It's the holiday surprise straight ahead. The fries are gonna be a bigger box of fries. It's gonna have chopped up chicken on it. It's gonna have a Thai sweet chili sauce, a cheese sauce, and then house seasoning on it. Hey, guess what? It's Christmas in July, and boy, do we have a gift for you. The gift of younger looking, climate smart skin. And you know who's here to bring it to you straight from the North Pole, Santa's favorite elf, founder and CEO of Poor Moi Skin Care, Uli Hotslocker. Merry Christmas in July. Merry Christmas in July, Fiona. Mrs. Oh. Claus invited me to come up to the North Pole and show her my famous hand demonstration. So here is, I showed it to her. On this hand, I use Climate Smart Skin Care. And on this hand, Fiona, I use a regular moisturizer. And look at that difference. 
That is incredible, okay? And I can't believe, you know, you flew in on a reindeer, okay? No jet lag. <laughs> your hands, of course, right there look fantastic. And your climate-based skincare is a great Christmas gift idea. And it's even better when you check people off your list early. Exactly, exactly. Like Mrs. Claus, she was asking me, what is Climate Smart Skincare? And I told her, think of it as anti-aging skincare for your zip code. What we found is if you customize your skincare, depending on the climate you live in and the climates you travel to, you get this extraordinary result. It's like Fiona, I'm here at the North Pole right now and it is cold, it is very dry air. And what my skin needs here to look useful and healthy is very, different than when I am in San Antonio in July, where it is humid and hot. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I, I don't know anyone who would want to re-gift something like this, right? Nobody ever re-gifts the gift of useful skin or returns it. We all love it. It's so revolutionary and proven to work. I even got a U.S. patent for it. So what did Santa put in your Christmas in July gift sack? Well, let's see. I think let's go back to the workshop and make sure we, we have everything right. And oh, I think Santa is even coming himself. Ho, 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 ho. Christmas is not canceled this year. Oh, thank you, Santa. Or my son. <laughs> what no, that was great Santa. News. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is something we all can look forward to this year. This is we brought our gift sharing set early this year to July. It's a hundred dollars off six gifts of useful skin that you can give to somebody that you know in this unprecedented time, you know, that you can share with a healthcare worker, with a neighbor, with a mailman, um, or woman, you know, anybody that you know has been, you know, standing out this year and be on the nice list. And this is all you get. You get our clarifying polish in this. It's a three to one. It's a cleanser, a softener, and an exfoliator. It's an amazing gift. You get our, you know, we have there to share our jasmine mask. Think of it as your face saver. Now where we are spending so much time in front of the screens, bombarded by this harmful blue light. This is the antidote for it. It's an amazing mask. And you get three of our iconic a uh, tropical day cream that's, you know, really helps your skin with this hot and humid weather and you break it up, you know, one for everybody. It is 100% um, made in France, 100% clean ingredients, and it is $100 off. And we are also 100% vegan brand and it comes with our Christmas extravaganza bag this year, which has even a little bling on it. All of it $89. This is the, the gift nobody ever returns. You break it up or Fiona, Mrs. Klaus was telling me, be selfish and keep something for yourself. <laughs> oh, I love that. We'll get your Christmas in July sharing set with the Climate Smart three-step rotating system for Texas for just $89. That's more than half off and that's not all. There's a second deal. You can get the Climate Smart three-step rotating system for Texas for 75 bucks. That's exactly half off. Now these offers are good until July 31st. So call now 909-243-1456 or visit formwaskincare.com slash San Antonio. Still ahead on SA Live, candles, stoves, even water bowls, they can all become fire dangers with curious kittens and clumsy pups. What you need to know about pet fire safety. Plus, your snack time dreams have come true. How this local food truck is making french fries even better. It's next on SA Live. But right now, here's a few easy ways to stay healthy. Brought to you by BMW of San Antonio and the Tobin Center for the Performing Arts. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, National French Fry Day. Ah! was Monday, so we're making up by going big. These creations aren't just over the top. Well, they're just plain off the chain. I mean, look at that. That's okay. The Maniac's Chef's Food Truck has creative flavor combinations. Might sound a little bit wild, but they work. And if you're not hungry, just it wait. It will be. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi guys, my name is Walter Schlevak. I'm the chef at the Minyak Chef Shop. Today, I'm gonna show you how to prepare our two famous burgers, the go beef and the neck attack, and the two little fries that we have. For the hook and fries, we use our own smoked pulled pork. We put it in the grill. We add some barbecue sauce. We grill it again. We grab the corn. We grill it a little bit to make it have a little sweeter taste. Once it's grilled, we add it on top of the pulled pork. We sprinkle some barbecue sauce on top of it, and then we add some pickles. We're gonna talk about our famous maniac fries. First off, we cover the, the fries with our secret cheese sauce, which is gonna be topped off with ranch and our famous maniac sauce. Once everything's poured into the fries, we cover with chives, red crushed peppers, and bacon. For the gold beef, we're gonna put the onions and the poblano pepper in the grill. We're gonna saute them, marinate them. Once they're grilled and crispy, we add some bacon on top of it. We give it another twist, and towards the end, we add cheese, which is gonna melt to fuse everything together. Once everything is cooked and ready, we put it on top of the burger. We add our special sauce, which is the minic sauce. Then we top everything off with the jalapeno popper. For our next burger, we're gonna do our famous mac attack. First, we put the, the mac and cheese in the grill. We grill it for a little bit. We add our special secret cheese sauce. We grill it for a little bit more. Once everything's melted, the cheese is melted on the top, we go ahead and put it on top of the burger. We add our special secret sauce, which is a mini sauce, and we top it off with bacon. Guys, well, this is our sneak peek of our future castle offer to you. If you liked everything that you saw, please contact us so we can cater you or come visit us at our spots. Thank you. You had to pick one, which would it be? The go beef or go home. <laughs> you, you take that one, I'll take the, uh, right. the mac and I mean, any of them really, they're, they're that was the, the hook on. Amazing. Oh. There, there that. With the grilled, yeah, the, I mean, grilled mac the, and cheese alone. Yes, I know. And then, and then the add bacon around it. And well, the bacon, but then put bacon on I top of that. Stop it. Okay. Well, the maniac's chef's truck goes all over town. Swing by the station, you know. I'm standing here with my <laughs> From mouth apartment open, complexes sorry. to office buildings to find out where they're going to be. You got all you got to do is just follow them on social media. A little, bit, a little bit dizzy watching that, right? <laughs> so, anyway, hey, there's a link at our website. Just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Yeah, I'm really hungry now. So, hey, next on SA Live, it is National Pet Fire Safety Day. We are helping you uncover the hidden hazards in your home that could end up becoming a danger. Don't go anywhere. We've all had fire drills at school, some of us even at home, but you think about pets when you think about fire safety? Well, today is National Pet Fire Safety Day, and Amy Johnson from Dog Friendly San Antonio is here to give us some tips that could save your home, your pets, and even your own life. Good afternoon, Amy, how you doing? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Okay, open flames, it may sound kind of obvious, but how can these quickly become a disaster? Um, the biggest way they can become a disaster is if you leave your dog or your cat unattended around them. Especially if you have a cat who likes to climb on the counters and you have the stove on, um, you want to be really careful about not leaving them unattended by open flames like candles, the stove, a grill, your fireplace. You want to make sure you don't leave them around alone by those. I guess almost think of dogs and cats like little kids. If you wouldn't leave it around <laughs> for a toddler, watch your dog yeah. and cat too. Yeah, and most likely they're going to, you know, if they get burned once, hopefully they won't do it again, but they can be uh, curious critters, so you definitely want to be aware. How about stoves? How do they become a danger? 
Yes, especially if you have like a larger dog who could, you know, jump up and reach the, the knobs on the stove, or if you have a cat who might accidentally climb across the stove um, when it's off, you don't want them to be able to accidentally ignite um, the burners or turn the stove on with the knobs. So you can take them off while you're away from home, or you can even get covers to put on your knobs too. Okay. What about, now this one, I'm still kind of scratching my head about this one, water bowls outside can be dangerous. Yes, that's kind of an uh, not a very obvious one to think about. But if you use like a glass bowl with water out on a wooden deck for your pets um, or for, you know, the critters in the neighborhood that you might like to give water to, that can become a hazard if the sun's rays hit the water in the glass bowl. It can kind of magnify and create a fire there on the wood. So if you're going to put water out for your animals, especially on a wooden deck, put it in a stainless steel or a ceramic bowl instead of a glass one. I would have never thought about that. That's a fantastic <laughs> tip. Okay, now something does happen. How can we make sure that we're ready to save our pets along with the rest of the family? Yeah, so number one is to have a plan. If you are at home and have a fire and you need to get out quickly, know who is in charge of getting which pet. If it's at a time when you're not at home, you wanna make sure that firefighters know that there are pets in the home. So you can put like a little sticker, you've seen those decals that you can put on the outside of your window um, and multiple windows in your home. Um, you can even write down how many pets are in the house. That way firefighters know right away they're, they need to keep an eye out for any animals that need to be rescued. And um, also you wanna make sure that you're Pets are easily accessible if you are away from home. That way firefighters can get to them quickly and safely. Leave your leash hanging up by the door. Um, keep them in a room that's easy for firefighters to get to as well. Okay, so kind of pet proof your house like we were talking about, almost like baby proofing your house and, and with anything, be prepared. How can people find more information? Um, you can visit our website, dogfriendlysanantonio.com, and we have more details about pet fire safety tips. Amy, thank you very much for great information. Appreciate that. Nice chatting with you. Nice talk to you too. Hey, coming up, this can be a difficult time for our senior citizens. Conviva Care Centers is sharing what they're doing to keep everyone safe. That's next on SA Live. These right here are the loaded tots. You got onions, jalapenos, you have some kind of a cream sauce, sounds like their secret sauce. Then you have a poached egg on top of all that. Get a little bite of everything. Bacon chunks on here, as it really sets it apart. And then you gotta pop that egg on there. So then you get that. <laughs> That's the good stuff. the country are wondering how they can stay safe right now and still get the care they need. Dr. Jacqueline Castillo with Conviva Care Centers joins us now with some helpful information for local seniors. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? Doing as well as we can. So tell us how is Conviva keeping patients safe when they come in to see their doctors? And well, we have been doing telemedicine visits and we've been slowly implementing people coming back into the office and our plan is to go full force next week. So our patients, they may see some changes. Um, first of all, we're requesting everyone wear a mask. If you don't have one, we will provide one and temperature checks will be performed at the door. There will be hand sanitizer. The waiting room may look a little bit different too. It's going to be spaced out so we can comply with everyone staying six feet apart. Um, just all different ways to help try to get you in the doctor's office, but stay safe at the same time. It's, is it important for patients to keep their scheduled appointments even if they feel well? Yes, that's what we've been trying to figure out the best way to get people back in. You know, unfortunately, everything kind of just went up in the air with coronavirus. And now we've got to continue focusing on chronic care conditions, wellness visits, all of that was sort of put on hold. And, you know, we tried the telemedicine, but there's just some things that they need to be done in person and diabetes and heart disease, they don't take a break just because COVID-19 is out there. Now for some seniors, you know, getting to their doctor's office could be an issue just because of transportation. How, how can they still be seen? 
So we do have a transportation company that helps bring patients in and they just need to call their Conviva office and they can help coordinate that. But for those patients that are still scared of coming in, you know, they may not have a ride, um, any anything of that sort. Since we do have telemedicine implemented, we will still continue to offer that to our patients that want to feel safe in that regard. And um, so that's another good thing about all of this. It's, it's set in place now. And what about all the employees there at Conviva? How are they being taken care of during this time? We've been very grateful for our, our leadership for you know going through the guidelines and looking at everything that's been changing on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we had a work at home implemented very soon in the COVID-19 outbreak. And now as we're transitioning all back into the office, we have changes where everyone is spaced apart. Um, you know, working safely, we wear masks as we're walking around and, you know, you feel safe here. It's it's not not scary at all. Thank you so much for your time. Conviva you. Care Centers have seven locations in the San Antonio area, New Braunfels and Floresville. For more information, call 855-910-6224 or visit their website, convivacarecenters.com. Dr. Castillo, thank you again. Thank you. Brown SA Live, we eat sweet treats, perfect for the summer heat. Dario's Bakery is making us a mango cheesecake. Oh, you know that's gonna be good. And this juice is worth the squeeze. It's a thirsty Thursday with a healthy twist. Why now is the best time to try a juice cleanse. That and much more tomorrow right here on SA Live. The question to end all questions. Oh. Who makes the best French fries in town? Lucy Cooper's Ice House. Wow, those look pretty good. That's what Bronda says. Okay, John says, man, I'm down with many fries. Chick-fil-A, waffle fries, yeah. Jack in the Box, curly fries, and Bill Miller fries, but with mayonnaise, please. I like sweet potato fries with like a spicy mayo. Yes. Sergio says, try the waffle fries at 54th Street. They are the best. Oh, Sergio, I'm gonna do that. Vicky says, Freddy. Yes, Freddy's those are fries. good. Those little, the little skinny one. Oh, but yeah, sweet potato fries, and you put a bunch of spices yes. in, the, in the mayonnaise. Again, like that. just bring me a bucket, like a legit bucket. I'll a crush legit it. Bucket, I so. will crush it. <laughs> All right. Well, as we say goodbye, we leave you with a performance from last summer by musicians Joel Garcia and Michael Alanis. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Stay cool, and we will see you tomorrow at one o'clock. Just bring me to my knees It's taking me higher Than I should be Somebody bring me down to us So I can finally find peace In you In me In truth I'm free yeah, From you From me and so